On this how to cut pavestone porcelain paving video, I'm going to demonstrate how to cut a narrow 40 mm strip off the edge using a 9 inch electric grinder that's fitted with a porcelain blade. First mark the measurement to be cut off using a tape measure, a piece of chalk or a pencil and a nice straight edge. For this demonstration I'm going to clamp a piece of plywood to the pallet at both ends. The wood will be clamped tightly along the cut line. Now the reason I'm doing this is to show you how to get a nice straight cut and it's a great tip and it will stop the grinder veering off the line. You'll see that I've got the whole of the slab on a pallet and between the slab and the pallet I've got an old piece of matting. Now this is there to absorb as much of the vibration as possible. It's important that you check the guide is in exactly the right location on the slab before you start to do the cut. Next I'm going to lightly score the line that's to be cut. You can see that I'm using my left foot to hold the timber guide down in the middle. Once the score line has been done, the guide can be removed or, if you prefer, you can actually leave it in place throughout the whole cut. Okay, so the next stage is to do the all important tension relief cuts and they need to be done at each end of the slab. These cuts need to be around 50 to 75 millimeters long and they must go right through the thickness of the slab. You'll see that I've got one foot on the slab to hold it firmly in place, which will also help to keep the vibration to a minimum. So with both tension relief cuts complete, it's now time for me to do the full cut. It's important to make sure that you have both hands holding the grinder as any slight movement left or right may cause the cut to crack and you will have to restart the cut and possibly even use a new slab. Just slowly pass the grinder along the line and as you can see the blade is already starting to sink into the slab. I'm applying no pressure to the grinder and the blade is doing all the work. You can see during this pass that there is a lot of dust coming up from the saw and as we're using electricity we can't use any water to suppress this dust so it's essential that you wear the correct grade of dust mask. Now, as I start to cut this third pass, I know that the blade and the slab are both getting very hot now. So I must give them both time to cool down. At the end of this pass, I'll carefully put the grinder down and leave the whole cut for a few minutes until the blade and the slab have both cooled down. Okay, everything's cooled down, so now I can continue with the cut. As this is a large slab, I like to take the blade out the cut line, say about halfway, adjust my feet and my body, and then move up so I actually do the cut in two stages. And what this does, this avoids the need for me to stretch over to reach the other end of the cut. Any excessive stretching can cause the blade to move left or right because you have less control of the grinder. This 
often causes the blade to snag in the cut and the slab may crack. Now, my experience tells me that this cut is nearly complete, apart from there's a small section at the start of the cut. And there it is, a successful cut taking 40 millimeters off the edge of pavestone porcelain paving. On this how to cut pavestone porcelain paving video, I'm going to show how to cut a 40 millimeter strip off the 1.2 meter edge using a four and a half inch electric grinder that's fitted with a porcelain blade. This is a great tool for doing small, intricate cuts around drain gullies, fence posts, manhole covers, but it also works fine to do this type of cut. The only downside to using this size grinder is that it is half the size of the nine inch grinder and three times smaller than the petrol cutoff saw, so it will take a lot longer to do any cuts. The overall method for the cut is the same as all porcelain cutting, which is to score the line first. You will see I have the whole of the slab on a pallet, and between the slab and the pallet is an old piece of matting. That's there to absorb as much of the vibration as possible. I'm now doing the all important tension relief cuts, and they must be done at each end of the slab. These cuts need to be around 50 to 75 millimeters long, and you must go right through the thickness of the slab. Throughout this how-to video you will see I keep moving my feet and body along the edge of the pallet as I do the cut. This is to avoid any excessive stretching. When you stretch to reach the cutting line, your grip on the grinder reduces as well as your stability, so there is the risk of the blade moving in the cut, which may cause the slab to crack. As with all narrow cuts, a bridge saw, sometimes known as a table saw, is the best way to achieve a professional finish. But for a small project with only a handful of cuts to do, an electric grinder works fine, it just takes a little longer to do. Now for the rest of the cut, just take your time and let the blade do all the work.
and remember to stop and allow the blade and the slab time to cool down. This is more important with a smaller blade as it is working much harder than other blades. This video will now be sped up as it's a long cut to demonstrate with a small grinder but the important things to remember during the cutting process. Wear the correct PPE. Allow the blade and the slab time to cool down between cuts. Reduce the amount of stretching to reach the end of the cut. Keep a tight grip on the grinder and take your time and allow the blade to do all the work. This will be the final pass of the cut as I can now feel that the blade is going right through the slab. As I get near the end of the cut, you can see the cut piece comes away from the slab cleanly. And that's it, a 40 millimeter strip cut from the long edge of a pavestone porcelain slab. For more installation hints and tips, visit the website pavestone.co.uk